What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Jay. I've got another video for y'all. I'm doing a quick unboxing, and I'm also gonna go through the steps of how to wash and clean and the oil, your classic poker chips, your clay poker chips. I just got my, my shipment in today. And as you can see, they lovely, but they're not at their full potential yet. They still look dusty, a little ashy, straight from the factory. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys the steps I take to clean these clay chips up fresh out of the factory. And then we're gonna get them oiled up. It's gonna take a, a few days, it's a process, but it's well worth it in the end. All right? So these are my chips here. These are my, my Star Wars themed chips that the Arabish numbers on there or the Denoms with the best car still inlay in the background. These things are lovely. And I got a few extras over here. That was unexpected, but that was a pleasant surprise too. So we got 600 chips here. I ordered 600 for a small low stakes cash game tournament here at the house. And then they sent some extras as well. So this is the before. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you um, the steps we're gonna to take to wash uh, these chips up. Uh, they get all the dust, manufacturer's dust and things like that off of them. So as you can see, they look pretty, pretty uh, dusty. That's just the process of manufacturing the clay chips. Uh, we got about 630, I'm sorry, 658 chips right here. Order 600, they sent me some extra, they sent me 58 extras, a few of each denomination, which is pretty cool. So thanks to David Sprague and them out there at, um, at Classic Poker Chips. I highly recommend them to anybody who wants some, some quality poker chips to play the game here at home or or uh, uh, if you just want some a custom set of your collector, you want to make some custom chips, uh, some things like that. So they have some pretty good stuff online, plaques, things like that. Um, and I'll show you guys the plaques that I ordered from uh, MSK as well, some custom plaques I had made. I'll show you guys those um, uh, once I get done with the oiling, with the washing and oiling uh, video. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm just giving you a quick view of these chips with the manufactured dust on the side. So you can see a good before and after. All right. So again, we're going to be washing them up this morning. So a few things that you're going to need. One are some gloves. Latex gloves, rubber gloves, made them even need any gloves. Yeah, that's, you know, you just... And um, some Dawn dish liquid here. Only gonna need a little bit of that. A a quick uh, soaking or washing, scrubbing tub right here. And a rinse tub as well over here. That's just uh, plain water over there. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the dish li liquid and um, uh, water in this bowl. You'll see how much I put in there. Just a real little bit, you don't need much. They're not gonna be in there for long. They're not gonna be soaking for there long either. And then a quick uh, little drying station over there, a little towel over there to dry them off. And then um, you just need an area to spread them out to let them uh, air dry. You're gonna rub them dry when they get done being rinsed. And um, you wanna lay them out somewhere so they can air dry. Uh, it may take a few hours, maybe overnight, but just a few hours to dry. Um, just pretty much to where they're dry to touch before you go to the next step. So uh, I have a little area set up off here, off to the left. Um, of the camera that you can't see, but um, just have some towels spread out there on the tabletop to where I could, I could spread out each chip individually and um, so they can uh, dry out uh, appropriately. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, like I said, it's gonna be quick, simple. It's not a, it's not a, uh, a, a, a too drawn up process. I just want to get something on video for you guys because I noticed on Poker Chip Forum and also on YouTube, there's not many sources out there that kind of show you what you need to do. So I want to create a detailed video for you guys just to make it simple for everybody else going forward, all right? So without talking any uh, more, I'll go ahead and get into it. Guys, you also need a 
scrub brush or a little nail brush, something like this. I got this from Dollar Store. Should they have me any beauty or hair story that you can find, it was roughly like a dollar or something. So you'll need this as well. Just give the chips a quick scrub uh, in the soap station. All right, so they ship these in barrels of 20. So I'm gonna bust it down to maybe 10. I'll probably do 10 at a time. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm grabbing up four or five at a time. Let's drop them in here real quick. Do my quick scrub. Front and back. I'm gonna let this drip so that way, that way I can give them a, a quick rinse. Drop them in the in the rinsing bowl over there. So scrub them up. Once you get your chip order in, you'll see that uh, there's dust and things like that inside the grooves. These happen to be an A mold. I couldn't um, I couldn't get within those other molds. One because of the styling and also <laughs> because of the price. Any of y'all who ordered some classic pump chips know exactly what I'm talking about. So, there's some dust inside of the grooves here, around the inlay. So, I'm gonna give it a quick scrub. Rinse off here, I'm gonna toss them into the, into the soap thing. Right. So like I say, you don't wanna soak these too long. Don't know the effects these will have on the inlay. It's not like a label or a sticker, like it's like China clay or something like that. So I don't think it'll come off. But either way, they don't need to be in there long anyway. All right, I'll spread them out here. Get rid of maybe. I'm just doing all this stuff on the fly, so no rhyme or reason to it. All right, next batch. Drop them in there, give them a quick rub. tedious process having to go through each chip one by one but you know these things are expensive I don't mind taking the time to get it done plus I can associate myself with each individual chip <laughs> welcoming them home step alone, just looking at them over there on the table, on the towel already, they look, they look better already. So I know once we get the oil, the mineral oil and, and things like that on them, they're really gonna pop. don't take much so let me know in the comments what type of chips you guys have you guys are in the custom chips let me know what kind of chips you have you have Jones, a set of Milano's a set of just China Clay's or what do you prefer clay poker chips China Clay's you have a custom CPC set let me know down in the comments. And by all means, if you stuck with me this long, please like the video. It helps my other videos be seen and help the channel out. And plus, it's free. It don't cost anything to y'all, so I would appreciate you guys to like the video, comment, please, and subscribe because I do other videos similar to this. 
don't really have a a set focus area for my video for my channel and that's something I'm working on but until then as you can tell Jack of all J I mean I kind of do a little bit of everything so it's kind of just posting up or recording some of the things that I do here at the house and kind of have a little bit of fun doing it I'll show you guys the bowl here in a minute with the water and you'll see it looks, it looks a little cloudy. It's not like it was when it first came, uh, when I first started. So uh, you'll see uh, if you order a custom set uh, that there's actually dust and things like that, like down in the grooves of the mold. And that's where the brush really comes in handy. It gets all that stuff out of there. And it doesn't take much to get it, but it really does make a difference. All right, so this is the after of the quick wash. It's the 1K. You see a big difference there already. You can see how the light shines on the on the edges there. You can see some of the powder inside of the clay mixture. Some of the flake there, the metallic flake. All right. I think this is canary and Dayglow Pink and Imperial Blue. Man, it looks good. All right, so now that I've rinsed them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them over here onto the uh, onto the uh, the tabletop that I have over here off to the off to the left here. I have it uh, lined up with some with some towels here. I got lined up with some towels right here. I'm just gonna spread them out on there. And I'm going to finish up with the rest of these chips here, pretty, pretty much to follow the same process. And I'm just going to set them over here onto the towels to air dry uh, until they're dry to touch. I don't know, a few hours. Um, I'm going to go uh, meet up with a couple of friends, play around the golf. So when I come back from that, who knows, they may be dry then. And at, at that point, um, once they're dry to touch, front and back, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get things ready here in the kitchen for the, uh, the oil uh, application process. And what I'm going to do is... I hear a lot about oil compression or the oil water method. It's pretty quick and easy. So I'm all about quick and easy. So I'm going to do the oil and water method. So method. So uh, I have a salad spinner to help me out with that. If you don't have a salad spinner, you can use a just a regular uh, strainer bowl and a and another big bowl just to kind of dip the strainer into it and and get the excess off and then dump it onto a towel, kind of like how, how I have over here for them to drain and, and things like that. And you can wipe, wipe them down to spread the oil out evenly. But um, either way, that's going to be later on in the video. So thanks for uh, sticking with me this far, and I'll be seeing y'all guys soon. All right, y'all. So we're done with the wash. So now we're going to get ready to start oiling these things up, all right? So I washed a few of these. Scrubbing them front and back. Like I showed you before. So that's a before shot right there. Well, after wash, before oiling. And then some of them, I decided, you know, just for the heck of it, to just dunk them. Just dunk them in the soapy water, kind of swish them around with my hands in there, and then rinse them off in the water as it was running out of the faucet, and then dump them into the, the, uh, the bowl with plain water. And you don't really see much of a difference. So maybe the scrubbings front and back is a little excessive, but I do uh, for a fact know that there was some dust and things like that and just dirt and grime or whatever just inside of these, inside of these grooves, inside of the A mold here. So scrubbing them front and back definitely does get that stuff out. Um, but overall, as far as cleaning this on the chip, getting rid of that manufacturer stuff, I mean, just dunking them in the soapy water, rinsing them, putting them into a, a bowl of clean water, uh, swish them around with your hand and then put them onto a towel. I mean, that kind of works as well. But honestly, if it was me, I would I would still scrub them with the with the brush, 
toothbrush, nail brush, or whatever the case may be. Um, I got some of the 25s as well. So these are a few that I uh, scrub front and back. Okay. And then there's also some that I just dumped. Didn't scrub them, just dumped them into the soapy water, rinsed them, put them into this bowl of clean water. So I don't know if you can see that, but some of that, some of that grime and stuff is still around in there. Didn't get it all off, but it's much cleaner than it was when it first came out of the box. So that's that. So that's post wash pre oil. So now, like I said, we're gonna get ready to start oiling these things. And before I said we're gonna do the oil and water method. So I have a salad spinner here with uh, warm water. I put about that much warm water in it. Not really sure how much it is, but it's a decent sized salad spinner. Um, if you don't have a salad spinner, of course, you can just use a, a strainer bowl, colander, whatever, with another bigger bowl outside of it. Fill it up with some warm water, you know, and uh, just use some good old mineral oil. Uh, this is the brand that I'm using from Walgreens. It was a couple bucks. And the amount that I'm going to add. I saw on poker chip form say to add one or two teaspoons or tablespoons per gallon of water. I'm gonna say teaspoons and not tablespoons. Um, Cause you really don't need a lot of this. A lot of this, a little bit of this goes a long way. All right, two capfuls. So I would say that's probably two teaspoons. So honestly, that's not a lot. I think that's actually the perfect amount for this. So what I'm gonna do is what you'll see I'm just mixing it up a little bit here, kind of getting that oil and water to kind of mix. <laughs> trying to get it mixed as best I can. You guys know oil and water don't mix, but just trying to spread it out evenly throughout the water as much as possible. Oh yeah, you can definitely see how it's in there. All right. And that's really, I would say, this is probably one of the keys is getting, them, is getting that oil kind of broken up in there and mixed in as best as you can. So if you see in there, it was just big globs in there at first when I first put the oil, but then I dropped and open, uh, lifted the strainer a little bit. And you see the oil kind of, the oil is not just big globs anymore. Now it's more, you know, spread out through the water. So now when I put the chips in here, I'm gonna give it a, a couple spins with this, with the uh, salad spinner. And the idea is that the oil mixes and spreads across the chips evenly. And then from there, gonna take it out of the salad spinner, put them onto the uh, the towel here, uh, dry them off, hand dry them real quick, front and back, and then I'm gonna set them onto the table over here where I have it lined with uh, with the towels, okay? And just let that dry. Uh, I hear it takes 24 to 48 hours, 48 hours, so I'm gonna let it sit there. Uh, and that's kind of the longest part of the process, you know, and after that we can start playing. So. I'm gonna do two batches of these. When I say batches, I have them stacked up in stacks of 20 right now. Um, I'll probably do two, two or three stacks. Just to let you guys see the gist of the process and I'm gonna cut the video cause you know, there's no sense you guys, you know, watching me go through 600 and whatever chips. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do three, three batches or three stacks or whatever, get those done, dry them front and back, put them on the towel and then I'll cut the video. All right, so here we go. And this is warm water, guys, all right? Let's do a stack of ones. Now let's start with the hundreds. Let's see what these blacks look like. So, these are the blacks, all right? Even a little bit of oil that was on my fingers there, you can see it bringing out the color already. All right, those are the blacks before the oil. I'm gonna do 20 at a time. Drop those in there. So I ordered some uh, some samples before I ordered these chips, and I suggest you guys get some samples a little before you just get some custom chips made. But um, I put oil on those as well, and I noticed that once I put the oil on them and I dry them, I probably didn't dry them enough, and I noticed they started to stick together. So you want to make sure you dry these things out good because you, you don't want them to stick. You don't want them to stick like that. Alright? You want to make sure they 
draw them apart, give them a little switch around, make sure they're breaking up, make sure the oil's getting across them when you need it. All right. Done those. Pat them dry here. You could do something like this. Kind of speed things up a little bit. Alright. Alright. Now these are the blacks. Hundos right out of the oil. No time to cure or soak up any additional oil. That's already a big difference already. It's really pulling out the color. And this is black, gray, and Dayglow Tiger. All right, so. So I'm gonna put all these over here. And then once I get done with my, with my third stack, I will go ahead and put them on the table over there. Let them dry when I cut the video. So that's one stack. It's another stack of 20. It's the greens, 25s. Like I said, if you don't have a salad spinner, you can just have a colander or, or, or a strainer bowl and another big bowl and you just kind of switch them around like this. And you kind of do the same thing. I want to say it kind of does exactly the same thing. I just have the luxury of having a salad spinner, so I just think it's kind of, kind of neat. Just kind of use it just for this. Yeah, I really like, I really like this method. Because if you look down on if you look down in the water, you can see the oil like, like swishing all around the chips. I really like that. That makes me feel good about what I'm doing. I like that. Alright, so if I had to say it's probably like two quarts, maybe three quarts of water and two catfuls of that mineral oil, I think that's that's a pretty solid mix. Yeah, I can tell this is this is really good. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Like when I'm patting with the towel, the oil is, 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 is dabbing off of it. It's not glooped up or, I'm sorry, or yeah, glooped or globby on there. It's just like it's coming off pretty easy. And I think it's because of the water still thinning it out. Well, obviously it's because of the water still thinning it out, but you know, they still read about it on poker chip form and they actually do it in live in person. It really does speak volume. So that's a, that's a, that's a big difference. Yeah, these are really nice. Oh my God. So again, fresh out of the oil, no time to cure, nothing like that. So you still see some light spots on there. Yep, these are the 25. I think this is, if I remember correctly, I think this is green, retro lavender, and day glow yellow. Yeah. All right. But oh, damn. <laughs> more stack for y'all we're gonna do 500s fives or, or 1000s let's do the fives why not see that red see that red show so these are the reds Except the brake button that I'm pressing, you guys are wondering what it is I'm doing right there. I'm gonna slow this thing down.
you want to make sure that they're spread apart and they're not sticking together. You want each one of them to get their face time of, of oil. So. This is the this is Mandarin Red, Base, uh, Dayglow Peach, and Canary for the Ed Spots. Right. So I'm gonna run through the rest of these chips, follow the same process, and when I get done drying them up here, I'm gonna do all I'm gonna do is take them, line them up, and spread them out on these on this table here these two towels, let them sit for a day or two, and then we should be ready to, to, to play a few hands of poker, and uh, I'll keep you guys tuned in, uh, tune in on what they look like, and I also um, put in some uh, some pics, some B-roll maybe of the, uh, the custom MSK uh, plaques I have as well, so thank you guys for sticking in with me this long, if you have by all means, please like, comment, uh, and share and subscribe as well. It's all right guys. So uh, so now we're ready to oil the racks up. So uh, it's the next morning. I got the chips laid out here on the table. All right, so this after, after the first oil, oil and water, soak, rinse method. All right, so they're gonna sit there for a couple of days. So what I did was I took a microfiber towel right here. All right, and I took a cap full, one more cap full of the oil and I just swirled it around, dripped it in a circle. You could do it in one spot, I guess, but later on, what we're gonna be doing is taking these, these chips in stacks of 10 and just laying them in this uh, in our hands and just giving them a, a quick twist around in the oil. So I just, I've spread it out that like this so you can get the whole rack. Instead of just putting it in one spot, I've put it across the whole the whole tile so I can get the edges of, of the rack. I'm sorry, edges of the, uh, the, the stack of chips. Once we put it into the oiled uh, racks, all right, so uh, gonna, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and take this, wipe the inside of the of the racks here. All right, just get a thin layer of oil in there. All right, doesn't take a whole lot of time, doesn't take a whole lot of effort. It's pretty quick and simple. Just wipe the inside of those grooves, okay? And you can see on there where the oil's been applied. Like, say, right in there. You can see that. Okay. All right, so I got 600 chips. So I got six racks. Each rack holds 100 chips. So I'm going to go through and do these. All right. But you want to do this pretty much the same day that you uh, add oil to your chips. So that way that these uh, racks can sit and cure as well for a day or two at the same time that the chips are curing, okay? What we're gonna end up doing is, like I said before, taking the the chips, sitting them in the trays, sitting them in the racks, and letting the edge get coated one good time. And let them hang out until you're ready to play with them and they should be ready to go at that point. Make sure you get the bottoms too because these type of these type of racks they stack on top of the chips. So get the get the bottom as well. Alright. So I'm gonna run through these and finish that up. And the next time I see you guys we're gonna be wiping the edges of the stacks of chips and placing them in the racks, all right? 
All right, everybody. So it has been 48 hours since our initial oil and water method to get the chips oiled up. What I'm gonna do now is put these chips in stacks of 10. Take my trusty uh, uh, microfiber towel here. This is what I used initially uh, uh, with, that, with that swirl of oil. This is what I used uh, to uh, oil the racks up. And um, there was a little bit of uh, residual oil in the bottom of the rack, so I just took a paper towel you know, and just wiped, wiped that extra oil out. Um, didn't need to be, you know, dripping with oil, just, just a light coat. So anyway, I'm gonna take these chips, put them in stacks of 10, and roll them in my hands, uh, in my hand rather, in this uh, microfiber towel where that oil has dried up some. You may see a little bit of that initial swirl where I put that cap full of oil in here, but now it's dried up over, over a day. And um, it's not as oily as it was before. This is just enough to give, get it, give it that final uh, uh, sheen, uh, that last little bit of oil to cure and to soak into the clay and um, before we put them into the racks. And at that point, once I put them in the racks, I mean, they'll be ready for ready for the next game. So, uh, all right, y'all, so this is the last step before putting the chips into the racks. Again, this is the, uh, the, the microfiber towel I had the other day that I used to oil the racks up. So it's already got some oil on it, but it's just not as oily as it was before. It's enough left in here to get uh, the edges pretty, pretty nice and, and slick. So uh, you see it before there. You're just gonna take the chips in your hand. It's a stack of 10 and just roll them in your hand like this a few times over, just like that. All right, and now you see the shine on there. You just stick them to the rack with the rest of the chips and just let them hang out. And you see now on all these chips, it has a good uh, a good shine across them from the left little bit of oil. That's enough for them to sit in the racks and store them until you're ready to play. All right, so I got these stacks as well. This is the before on the blacks. The after, all right. And you can do stacks of 20 if you want, or whatever you want to do. I, honestly, I prefer 10. It seems like a, a decent size stick that I can hold in my hands and get a good spread of oil across it. I may even put a description in, in the in the uh, description box on what the colors are that I put on these chips. But you see that last little bit of oil really does make a difference. All right. So that pretty much wraps up the video. That's how you oil and wash your poker chips fresh from the factory. All right.